Welcome to the installation video of the Kurt 11072 Class 1 receiver hitch on a 2012 Volkswagen Jetta. To give you a better view of the installation, we are using a lift. Like most installations, this vehicle does not need to be elevated for the install. We estimate this installation to take 45 minutes to an hour and a half, depending on your level of expertise. These are the tools necessary for the install. Begin by removing Torx and hex nut fasteners located here on the passenger side underbody panel. Remove the underbody panel. Continue by removing hex head flange bolts located here on a fuel vapor canister if it is equipped. Lower the canister safely. Lower the exhaust by removing hex flange bolts from the exhaust hanger bracket located here. Fish wire the rearmost attachment point on the passenger side by inserting the coil end of the fish wire into the attachment point and out through the foremost access hole. Place a square hole spacer over the coil end of the fish wire and insert the spacer into the access hole. Thread the carriage bolt into the coil end of the fish wire and insert it into the access hole. Pull on the opposite end of the fish wire allowing the carriage bolt to pass through the spacer and out through the attachment point. Remove the fish wire. Repeat this process on the foremost attachment point. Remove all contents of the trunk, including the spare tire. Remove the plug inside the trunk pan on the driver's side by carefully removing the sealant surrounding the plug. Use a handle of a screwdriver to push the plug in so it can be removed. Raise the hitch into position over the previously removed exhaust bracket bolts followed by the fish wired carriage bolts on the passenger side, being careful not to knock the hardware into the frame ram. Fasten the hitch to the frame on the passenger side with the supplied hex flange nuts. Position the driver side mounting plate between the exhaust hanger bracket and the driver side frame rail and secure with the supplied hex flange bolts into the frame rail. Fish wire the passenger side uppermost side plate attachment point by inserting the coiled end of the fish wire through the side plate attachment point and out through the foremost access hole on the frame rail. Place the square hole spacer over the coiled end of the fish wire and insert it into the access hole. Thread the carriage bolt into the coiled end of the fish wire and insert it into the access hole. Pull on the opposite end of the fish wire allowing the carriage bolt to pass through the spacer and out through the side plate attachment point. Remove the fish wire and fasten with the supplied hex flange nut. Clean the factory sealant away from the trunk pan plug hole. Clean an area big enough to accommodate the supplied round spacer. Apply a water resistant silicone or adhesive around the plug hole. Place the round spacer over the plug hole. Apply sealant around the bolt hole on the round spacer. Insert the carriage bolt into the round spacer and through the hitch. Fasten from beneath the vehicle with a flange nut. Torque all hardware to the value specified in the supplied instruction sheet. Reinstall the fuel vapor canister if previously removed. Trim the previously removed underbody panel with a utility knife to accommodate the installed hitch. Refer to the trim diagram in the supplied instruction sheet. Reinstall the underbody panel. Mm -hmm. 
Replace the items removed from the trunk. This completes the installation of the Kurt 11072 Class 1 receiver hitch on a 2012 Volkswagen Jetta. Check out all the Kurt products for your ride and thank you for watching this video. Always remember to bring it. Kurt, the first name in towing products.